Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Carly Nari and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection. It has been an ongoing request to talk about what do I have on this shelf. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what it is. What do I have? I break them down according to notes or sections. So there's amber, there's nutty fragrances, coconut fragrances, chocolate, Middle Eastern, so forth, so on. So we're going to slowly go through them, or should I say video to video, I'm going to break them down to the ones that I have in each section. So for everyone who has asked, what do you have in your collection, Claudia? These videos are for you. It is time for Apple, right? So let's get into it. This one here, I never say this name right. So I am not even going to try it. It's a very long name. I want to say it's La Danza Della uh, La Belluz. I, I don't know. It smells like an apple pie. <laughs> I will say that. It smells like an apple pie, like a fresh baked apple pie to me. Uh, it's red apple, bergamot, cinnamon, vanilla, coconut, and musk. It is absolutely wonderful like it's a wonderful fragrance it smells so like someone wants to take a bite out of you it's it's just that good my next one is going to be Kylete night by atar uh this one here is cinnamon cherry vanilla and red apple uh i almost put this one and sometimes i do when i go to put it back on the shelf i sometimes put this one with the cherries because it has like that cinnamon cherry opening uh but i think that the apple in it is so predominant that it's, it's in my apple section on my shelf um very beautiful very beautiful if you were uh interested in starting a collection with atar um i don't know if i talked about it yet uh but um Hayete, I had Thai, and this one here would be a good one to start off with. Uh, this is Golden Coast by Bond Number Nine, uh, and I know there is it's a lot of talk about Bond Number Nine. I had these in my collections before all of the talk started, and I'm not about to throw fragrances out. <laughs> so uh, I I enjoyed it. It's a very light scent. It has. Uh, lychee red apple apricot watermelon and like a rosy note to it but it's more like a very fresh watermelon uh fragrance but the red apple is enough for me to have it in the apple area uh doesn't have great longevity to it it's it's, it's one of those just really nice wearable fragrance four hours you're going out with probably your friends or you just might be going out to run errands for the day and you just want to smell really nice and fruity uh, around the summertime or even in the spring uh, this will be a good one and that's golden coast my next one is uh one by josette uh, i really have fallen in love with this line uh it's la tarte taran uh, i found out about this one uh on a visit to to North Carolina to see one of my good friends and uh, one of my uh, fellow frag heads, fragged out, swagged out, or Rico uh, had it. And I, you know, we bought it on the spot. <laughs> we, he had it, we were doing like a sharing party where we had fragrances and we were all taking samples from each other uh, of, of the bottles and he had it, so I got it. And then I liked it so much, I used it up the whole time I was in North Carolina. I used the rest of it when I got home. So I was very excited that I did purchase it uh, before I left online. So I knew that it was coming in the mail. This one has brown sugar, salt, vanilla bean, apple, tonka bean in it. Uh, it does have a base of vanilla and caramel, but it's mostly this nice sweet apple, uh, like a pink lady apple. Uh, if you are familiar with apples, but like a pink lady apple, kind of sweet, not tart. This, that's what this one is. My next one is the Hob by, uh, I think it's, uh, well, you see the bottle. Um, and I, I hate to mess up the, the names of these brands. The uh, Hob is a, a Granny Smith apple, bergamot, passion fruit. 
it is a great fragrance i i like it i know a lot of people are not uh fond of it because it can be kind of syrupy uh at times or real tart like that granny smith apple kind of tart apple note i enjoy it so hence it is in my collection i have jordan exclusive this one here is one that um I was in love with it when I first got it. Uh, I will admit that I don't reach for it as often as I probably did in the past. It has this beautiful green apple, lemon base, pear, peachy note to it. Um, smells great on my son, actually. Uh, so odds are if I'm not reaching for this one, like when the summertime comes and I'm going through my collection and I just find that I'm not reaching for it. Um, I, I, I probably would end up giving it to my son because he likes it. It smells good on him. So why not share the love? My next one is Starry Night by Montal. Starry Night by Montal to me is a nice apple bergamot lemon fragrance with a bit of like mysteriousness to it, right? It has this... Um, base of patchouli jasmine white musk and then it's really clean like there's a powdery amber note to it so it's like a really clean scent it's great for like nighttime hence probably why they call it starry night it works beautiful on a breezy night like uh people are going to smell you and they're going to be wondering like who is that uh i've I, I walked past several people <laughs> on a date with my husband, like, oh, you really smell good, right? And it's like, you know, that's a compliment for me. So I really do like Starry Night. Starry Night will stay in my collection. As long as I have my Montals, um, the packaging of Montal is kind of getting a bit uh, weird for me because uh, you don't really know what's in the bottle, what's not in the bottle, and then the clink, clink noise of the top. Uh, but the fragrance is gorgeous. So for that alone, I'm going to keep it. I finally got my hands on Angel uh, Toilet, right? And I think I had said a while back that I ended up getting a man uh, because the original uh, Angel perfume, I just didn't like it. It didn't give what it was supposed to give. And a man by Mugler did. So I ended up getting or coming across Angel Toilet. And even though it does have some similarity to a man, it, it has enough difference that it, um, I like it in my collection. Because this one has peony, mandarin orange, praline, apple, red berries. And then the base of it is that patchouli, woody, and cedar. Whereas I think for perfume, a, a uh, Angel's perfume is more of that woody cedar note uh, and patchouli than it is of the nice fruity apple berry notes. And with toilet, you, you get more of the apple berry. So if you have smelled Angel perfume and it was just not your type, like he was like, oh, this does not smell good. Try the toilet. You'll probably like the toilet. Um, I do have this one in a small bottle, uh, but it doesn't take away from the fragrance. And that is Dos uh, Afir by uh, Jojoff. That apple saffron note vanilla note in it is so gorgeous it's such a beautiful opening and then the base of it is incense and uh tonka bean and cedar uh such a complex type fragrance for me but yet enough that i really enjoy it like i really enjoy it um can't say I'm I'm looking to get a large bottle of it. I feel like the bottle size that I have was really like a good buy uh, and will work for me in the collection that I have. But beautiful fragrance, absolutely beautiful fragrance. Uh, so that you can see the full bottle, I'm gonna move this one up uh, so I can show you this one here. If you have not gotten Amorous Intense, by Navitus, which was uh, partnered with uh, AI the Great, uh, you are missing out. In my opinion, you are absolutely missing out <laughs> and you need to get it. That is a Jolly Rancher in a bottle. It is so beautiful, so gorgeous of a fragrance. The opening is like a green Jolly Rancher, 
right? Uh, green apple Jolly Rancher, actually. And it has apple, pear, almond, and rum in it. Uh, it says coffee, but I'm not too I don't really get coffee. What I get is a nice, gorgeous, fruity, delicious, uh, edible fragrance in a bottle. Uh, for a lot of people, the cost of the bottle was a little uh, bit, but for me, it was worth it. Uh, I'm gonna probably have this fragrance for a very long time. I often have to kind of fight with my daughter because this bottle, as large as it is, and she thinks that she can slide off my shelf and I'm not gonna notice. <laughs> it's funny to me, but she really enjoys it too. But I truly believe that Amorous Intense is a very beautiful fragrance. Uh, very beautiful. And I think that everyone should try it once. Uh, either you're going to fall in love with it like everybody else. The hype is, is it's not hype. It's, it's, it's nice. But again, you know, fragrances is subjective. And for me, I think that everyone should try this one. All right. I hope you have enjoyed it so far. We only went over uh, probably just one category in this video. I make sure that I list right here what it is that we were talking about. If you know of more fragrances that I probably need to add to my collection, or you have some fragrances that fit into this category that I haven't talked about yet, put it in the comments and let everybody else know what is in your collection. Again, this is a video to let everyone know. I'm doing several videos to what is behind me. That has been the burning question. What is behind you, Claudia? So we're going to talk about it. Stay tuned because I'm going to continue going with these type of videos. See you in the next video.